Hey everybody, in this video I'll be discussing the recruit for my Soldiers of Stargrave series. Hey everybody, I'm Alan with Bricks and Blocks Gaming, tabletop gaming with bricks and blocks and helping to build your gameplay experience. The most basic of all the soldiers in Stargrave is the Recruit, and in this video I'll be discussing their stats and equipment, their job in your crew, some tips and strategies, and give my opinion about them. So let's get to the bricks and blocks of Recruits in Stargrave. For their stats, they have a move of 6, plus 2 fight, plus 2 shoot, 10 armor, plus 0 will, and 12 health. They carry a pistol and a knife, and wear light armor. This equipment lets them shoot up to 10 inches, fight in melee with a minus 1 damage modifier, and their light armor is already figured into their stats. Since these soldiers are eager to join a crew, hiring a recruit is totally free. And being standard soldiers, you can fill as many of your 8 soldier slots with recruits as you want. These unskilled soldiers' primary purpose in your crew is to be a warm body. They fill a slot when you can't afford to hire anything else. They can add some covering fire, possibly grab some loot that's already been unlocked, and serve as expendable meat shields. For a free soldier, their plus two fight and plus two shoot actually aren't that bad. Most specialist soldiers only have a fight of plus three, so recruits stand a decent chance of winning if they end up in melee combat. And if they lose, oh well. And their shoot of plus two also isn't terrible. And since it doesn't take much to stun a target, a good roll can create a threat to even higher level captains. My main tip with recruits is to simply replace them as soon as you can. And one suggestion for this, if they haven't actually died in combat, is to use the same figure, even if it doesn't quite look the part of their new job. For narrative purposes, this can represent the recruit finding their place in your squad. I especially like doing this based on something memorable the recruit did, like upgrading them to a sniper if they landed a critical shot, or making them a case cracker or code breaker if they happen to unlock a loot token. This creates a little bit of an attachment to the character and adds to the overall story of your crew. My personal opinion about recruits is they're decent at the start of a campaign. And if you want to spend all your credits hiring just a few specialist soldiers, being stuck filling most of your soldier slots with recruits isn't that bad. If you're enjoying this content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a video and let me and the community know in the comments below your thoughts about recruits in Stargrave. I'm Alan with Bricks and Blocks Gaming. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.